Hello learners and welcome back. Yeah, still on the net worth of a branch, net worth of a business, sorry. So we have a question number two. Using a balance sheet equation, fill in the amounts missing in the table below for three businesses, X, Y, and Z. So for us to be able to handle this question again, we need to know what is a balance sheet equation? How does it look like? And this is the balance sheet equation. It reads that assets is equals to capital plus liabilities. Assets equals capital plus liabilities. That is the balance sheet equation in question so we go straight to the question so we have there are the items We've given the items yeah we have business x has a total of 800 thousand assets capital amounts to 620 thousand and liabilities we are not given so in this case we are going to make liabilities the subject of the formula so from our equation that uh, asset is equals to capital plus liabilities asset equals capital plus liabilities therefore liabilities will be equals to assets minus capital asset minus capital so for business x for business x we have a total of 800,000 800, assets and capital of 620. 620,000. We subtract that to get liabilities, and that gives us 180,000. And therefore, we can fill our space here with 180,000. One, sorry, 180,000. 180,000. Next is the business Y. Business Y. Now, for business way, we are not given assets. And remember, the balance sheet equation states that asset is equals to capital plus liabilities. The business, uh, the business capital amounted to 940,000 and 500 thousand liabilities so summing the two we're going to get zero zero four nine plus five is fourteen fourteen and therefore it means that the total assets for business y is one million four hundred and forty four thousand one million four hundred and forty thousand one million four hundred and forty thousand then lastly and our business z our business z our business z let's see what are we given what are we not given so for business z looking at it closely we are given assets and liabilities meaning that you're supposed to find capital. Find the figure for capital. So, from the bookkeeping equation that asset is equal to capital plus liabilities, hence, to get capital, we need to take assets and subtract liabilities. We subtract liabilities from asset to get the figure for the capital. So this business 
assets amounting to 1 million 500,000 1.5 m and uh, the liabilities amounting to 450,000 so we subtract to get the difference the difference we are getting is 0 0 0 10 minus 5 is 5 4 minus 4 is 0 and 1 and that is 1 million 50,000 1 million 50,000 1 sorry 1 million and 50 and you're done with the equation so whenever you're given this kind of equation just remember the bookkeeping equation and hence uh, the equation will be easy for you now today i have an assignment and the assignment is on question number three you state four uses of capital in a business state for uses of capital in a business. Bye-bye. See you in our next lesson.